Last year, I was trying to lose weight, and to make things even worse, I got COVID. Now that I need oxygen, it's even harder to move around. Then I realized, bitch, get yourself together. This isn't, this isn't good, how you're living. I don't know what weight I am currently. I feel like I'm at the worst. Hey, bitch, you ready to go yet? Tomorrow, Chris is driving me to a bariatric treatment facility. I think they might be able to help me with my portion control and exercise. The only thing wrong with it is it's eight hours away and there's no possible way my family can, you know, be there in two seconds, you know? You gonna miss me, bitch? No, I'm really. <laughs> Gage will. My man got a big pillow like that. <laughs> Let's get you stuff, Dad. Taking Tammy to this facility is one of the last options we have because she just needs help that we're not able to give. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Tammy has been put in nursing homes before, but it really wasn't fit for her. She's hard to deal with when she's not happy, too. Hopefully, we don't have problems with that this round. Don't be too much of an ass to these people. <laughs> they that mother you can be rough. <laughs> Just remember, they're here to help you no matter how much they are pushing you and you get mad at them. You know, I pray Tammy stays at the facility and gets the help she needs. Her weight can still continue to go up. So if she don't do what she needs to do, She's going to eat herself into the grave. I like you here. So far. I love the nurses here. They love giving me crap, but in a good way. Yeah. Potatoes, green beans, sugar-free juice. The food here sucks. It's bland. No flavor. And the savings are really small compared to what I'm used to. Here, they would only give me one sandwich. And back home, I'd be like three or four. That was it. My knees are grinding, the bones grind. So the whole therapy where you like, stand up, sit down, kills my knees. But I stuck it out as long as I could. I'm not giving up. I'm not ready to throw in a towel. It's one of the best moves I've ever made. Now that I'm single and I can work on myself, I'm not worried about if I do something wrong or not getting my lover's approval. I've been in rehab for two weeks now. It's been rough. <laughs> Walking farther, doing core exercises, arm exercises, leg exercises, just all the exercises. <laughs> all right, you're almost about 70 feet, so we want to go a little bit further than that. 50 feet right now, keep going. They had me doing a lot of exercises and trying to get me to walk more. How winded do you feel? Very. Scale of one to ten, with ten being the worst. I'm pushing myself, but it's really hard. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. When I first got here, I couldn't hardly walk through the threshold. But I've been working on trying to step away from the walker. I am moving around more. Now I can do it and not be so out of breath. Yeah, I get out of breath. Clearly, I'm still on oxygen. But it's not as bad. OK, you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Today's my eight week weigh in. When you get on it and stand, just drop your arms. Yeah, I'm nervous. Let's do it. 
When I got here, I weighed 689 pounds. Dr. Smith wants me to lose 100 pounds while I'm here. I work so hard, and I just don't know if it's going to pay off. 631.3. How do you feel about that? OK, OK. That's a lot. It is a lot. It is. I'm down 60 pounds. Honestly, I didn't think I could get that much off. That's progress. Well, I'm proud of you. Thank you. How do you feel about it? We feel pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it's hard work, and it's paying off. How are you feeling? I can conquer the world. Today, I want to talk to the administrator, Kelly, because I made a big decision. OK, Tammy, we're eight weeks in, and I wanted to see where you were thinking about. Not, I mean, I'm homesick. I miss my bed. I miss my family. So I think I'm ready to go. I want to try to get the rest of the way off on my own. Tammy, are you sure that you're ready to go home on your own without support and face all the temptations when you get there by yourself? Yes. And I was supposed to lose 100 pounds, but 60 is a great start. I've been here long enough. I've seen what to do. I just got to do it. How are things at the facility? Yeah, it's going. I miss eating so much. I miss my bed. I miss my house. I miss my own things. I want to come home. Does the facility think you need to stay in there? Or do you, or is it you just wanting to come home? I, I mean. They want you to stay is what it is, right? Yeah. That is total bull So how much weight have you lost totally? 59 pounds. I thought you were supposed to stay up there until you lost 100 pounds. Now she's wanting to come home. That makes me anxious because she don't have a good track record of coming home and sticking to a diet. Yeah, she lost some weight. Don't get me wrong. Kudos to you, bitch. But you still got a whole lot of weight to lose before you can have the surgery. Good to work. I'm not giving up. Just because I'm homesick and want to come home does not mean I'm giving up. Y'all need to have more faith in me. I'm not mad at you about anything. I'm not mad at you. But Damn I'm me. disappointed that you're coming home early. You sure you want to come home? I'm just worried about you falling off the wagon. I mean, I understand your concern, but I want to do it on my own. I think Chris needs to have a little bit more faith in me. Just because I'm going home does not mean I want to just give up. I'm going to lose weight. I am losing weight. I just need a little faith and willpower. <laughs> Since being home, I'm sticking to the diet. I can only hope and try to stay positive that things go in my favor. So that means Goodbye. you was eight pounds down. That's wonderful, Tammy. I get to go to dinner. You get to go get some Mexican. <laughs> oh, that's, you know, that's, that's good weight loss. Guess what, my I lost eight pounds. Let's eat. Knock, knock. What's going on, Tammy? How's it going? Good, I guess. Uh, Good, well, I guess. I was just wondering how it was going. Are you doing your steps and watching what you eat? And... Yes. So what kind of food you been eating? Everything. Hey, that's a nice yeah. Chris and Misty are here being nosy, asking all kinds of questions. What am I, being interrogated? I don't know what the hell's going on, but they're acting weird. Jamie? I've been hearing some girl. If it's about my boyfriend, then y'all can leave it alone. I don't want to hear none of it. 
Well, I got concerns that I'm going to express. Well, I'm, I'm not about I'm this. I'm very, We're very not doing concerned. It. We're not doing it. My biggest concern is, Tammy, when you come home from the facility, you had a fire to lose weight. Yeah. I still do. Even though he said if you get under 300, he's out of here? He never said that to me. He never said that to you, but he's put it on social media. I know exactly what he puts on social media. But why is he doing like that and then being with you? He's trying to show other big women that they're beautiful too, like supporting them. Does he support you for your diet? Yes. He don't want me to get under 300, but... Are you okay with him working out of your life if you're under 300 pounds? Yeah. I guess I'll have to wait until we get there. All right, let's see what you weigh, okay? Okay. All right. Tammy's not doing what she needs to do. She's in a relationship with a dude that's not got Tammy's best interest at heart. Let's step up here on the scale. Last time I weighed with Chris, I was 624. I'm hoping I've lost even more and I'm closer to my 550 goal. Okay, looks like 639. I can't wait, back. How do you feel about that? I'm not happy about it. You told me all the things we asked you to do, you didn't do. Can you imagine if you would actually do these things that we're working with? Right. What I'm trying to get you to understand is that if you will do what I'm asking you to do every single day, you will see results. The fact of the matter is, it works. It will work. My ex-boyfriend has been harassing me. I've got the police involved and even though I'm feeling I broke up. We've been talking the last few weeks. He lives in Vegas, but the situation with Philip got way out of hand and it's causing me some stress. She needs to focus on herself and not worry about relationships right now. Especially the people she's meeting online that have fetishes for big women. So they're just gonna feed her Stuff she don't need to make sure she stays the way that she is. No, I, I completely agree with you. Anybody who truly loves you wants what's best for you. And if this is a goal that you want, they should be supporting you 100% to reach that goal. I broke up with him. Why did you break up with him? He's been harassing me. Okay. I got the police involved every day. Right now, it's just stress. I'm stressed out. And that makes sense. So here's what I need you to do. When you've started doing the things I've asked you to do, you let me know. Then we'll bring you back and we'll weigh you. But really, until we start doing these things that we've talked about, what are we accomplishing? And you're just burning gas and exhausting yourself taking a four-hour trip. Balls in your court. Oh, oh she on demon time. Demon. <laughs> Did you say demon? Uh, I like it. <laughs> Are you worried about your health? I mean, I, I'm aware that I'm doing more damage to my body. I'm completely aware of it. I just want, you know, no stress, no worries. I just want to have fun. Cheers. Oh, to the queen. To the queen. queen. Oh. Spirit water. Is it like a new thing to be partying right now? Like, what's going on? I am trying to do self love, trying to fall in love with myself again, find happiness within myself. So, just trying to be happy. That's a good way to be, but there's other outlets you can explore. But what else do I got to do? 
Oh. Right. You do it your way, I'll do it mine. It's been almost two weeks since I seen Tammy. You could tell about the way she looks. She's still drinking it. It's so disappointing to see somebody just throw their life in the trash. I know turning to alcohol and vaping and stuff isn't the way to go. I know it could, can be doing more damage to me than whatever, but I just want to be free. I just want you to know when you have days like that, you can reach out to us. And, and I'm willing to listen anytime. All right. Okay. Why do you always make me cry? Oh, I don't think I always make you cry. <laughs> hey, Tammy, how are you? Not good. I feel like my depression has gotten worse. Okay. And my health is getting worse. Like I can tell. Since I saw the doctor's bed, I have slowed down, like, a lot on drinking and partying. Honestly, it was just like fed up with me and sick all the time and just everything. I'm thinking I'm ready to go back to rehab. Well, I am very happy to hear that. Not happy to hear that you're struggling, but I'm happy to hear that you have made that decision on your own. So everybody wants me to go to rehab and do what they want me to do, but I'm not doing this for anybody but myself. I've decided to put myself first. Take care of Tim. Right. Hey, Tammy. It was pretty stressful getting Tammy up here this time, but God willing and the creek didn't rise, we made it. I mean, I love my sister Tammy with, you know, with my whole heart. She's talking about staying in here six months or a year and get better, then I'd rather miss her for a year than miss her for the rest of my life. If you need anything, I'm one <laughs> phone call away. You got three more sisters that'll do the same thing. So, I love you. Get some rest. Driving up here, it was hell. What I mean, I had to do it. I had to. I know I thought I gave up numerous times, but in reality, I really haven't. So I still had some glimmer of hope. This is the last time you will see me at this size. Bye, bitches.